hey guys welcome to progressive cakes and nourishment in today's video i'll be sharing with you the secret tips that i use to achieve a smooth buttercream on my cake have you been struggling with this it's time to smile so chill relax and watch this video to the end and don't forget to like this video share your own contribution and feel free to comment ask question you're welcome back to all my old subscribers you're always come back to the new you're welcome to the family The first thing to do is to wrap up all your cakes and allow them to cool off before you take them to your fridge or freezer if you're decorating that particular day you can allow to sit in your freezer for at least 15 to 20 minutes before you start decorating if you're decorating the next day allow to sit in your fridge overnight before you start decorating the next day because we bake a soft and fluffy cake i know you will not be happy to be struggling with the cake crumbs or the cake pulling up and down so do this the next thing to do is to assemble all your cakes one after the other make sure you have a buttercream base down the board yes it's important to hold the cakes firm not to be moving when you start trimming or when you start decorating your cakes and again it's very important you have a good buttercream mist yes sometimes we don't make out good buttercream and we'll end up having a bad decoration so i think I think I will show you how I prepare my buttercream the best way you can handle yours and it will also have a very good impact in you achieving a smooth buttercream on your cake. Here is one of my buttercream recipe I prepared. I always make sure I use the right ingredients. It will help you achieve a smooth buttercream here i'm using one kg of icing sugar to just 250 grams of margarine you can imagine that make sure your icing sugar is way bigger than your butter yes it's important or you're using margarine make sure it's way bigger if possible you can go for even 200 grams of margarine to one kg of icing sugar after saving your icing sugar set it aside start creaming your margarine or your butter till you have a creamy color before you start adding the ice you look at that oh it's almost looking white before you start adding in your icing sugar please please don't use hand mixer standing mixer to mix in your icing sugar that's my little secret use your spatula and mix little at a time as you add in that icing sugar you can use the standing mixer or hand mixer to mix your to cream your margarine or your butter but please don't use it when incorporating your eyes and sugar please use only your spatula and mix little at a time to avoid air bubbles yes to have when you over mix your buttercream absorb more air bubbles so but when you take your time and use a wooden stick or a spatula to mix the air bubbles will not be much sometimes you will not even feel it at all this is my liquid secret the way i prepare my buttercream so the next thing to do after assembling all your cakes you start trimming yes before you start trimming please don't forget it make sure you leveled your cake when you are assembling it is very important if possible go with your plum and check out whether the both sizes are equal it's very important before you start trimming trim out your cake make sure you have a smooth trimming you can even use your kitchen grater ah kitchen grater does a lot of magic on your cake especially when you freeze the cake 
cakes you will enjoy this trimming with the kitchen greater that is why i said it's important you freeze your cake it's not a must but when you want to achieve a perfect smooth buttercream on your cake please go ahead and freeze that cake before you start trimming it it will help you to have a very smooth and beautiful surface body cake body and all that before you start crumb cutting it look at what i have already this is beautiful when you're done trimming and leveling your cake, you go ahead to start crumb coating. Some people don't crumb coat their cakes and it's very, very wrong. If you don't crumb coat it, sometimes you will end up seeing your cake popping out after the decor complete decoration. It will just be popping out, popping up and all that. That is air bubbles fighting with your cake. So I think the best thing is to crumb coat it. This crumb coating helps your cake to hold back all the cake crumbs yeah so that when you start the final coating you will not even experience any egg crumbs any longer you'll be the cake will be smoother and easy for you to work with look at me decorating different cakes yes because i know it's important for this to happen it's important to crumb coat your cake so that when you start the final coating you'll be very comfortable and and then once again please it's important you put the cake in the freezer for at least five minutes it's not a mandatory but please it's good is you put it at least 10 to 5 minutes in the freezer just to hold back the cake crumbs hold back that crumb cut make the cake firm before you start piping the second or final coating you can see me piping and again use piping method please piping method is the easiest when you're doing your final the correction the piping method is the best i've tried it using the uh spatula method i think piping method is the best please use piping method you will enjoy it i'll still show you another cake where i also use piping method here also after crumb coating my cake i freezed it a little and i started piping this piping method takes your cake to see it makes when you want to scrape is easier it saves more time you struggle less when you want to scrape yes please piping method is the best and the next one is please scrape with hot water some people don't know about it this is another secret of mine use hot water just soak your scraper in the hot water inside hot water and use your kitchen towel to clean that scraper very well just the heat on the scraper is what you need just go around your cake and you have that smooth body look at that this is beautiful already you can see me soaking my scraper inside hot water you see that you see that clean it very well and scrape even though you want to also create a design on your cake soak the scraper inside hot water clean off the excess water and you go ahead to scrape you have a beautiful day look at that i, I believe, believe these beautiful, beautiful tips, tips of mine will be able to access and, and help someone outside, outside there. there please don't, don't forget, forget to like, to this, like video. this give me video. some thumbs if you have not up if you're new to this channel this is your first time you watching my videos or if you're more subscribed to this channel this is your first time of just join the family by clicking on the subscribe button also clicking on the notification button to get an alert of my new video thanks for watching